everyone, it's Melissa here from Little Kosher Lunch and I'm so excited to share this video with you today because I am cooking in a slow cooker. This is not only a requested video, but this is a collaborative video because someone on my channel left a great comment asking for kosher friendly Instapot recipes. And I don't have an Instapot, but I sent out like a little call to action to my mommy friends on YouTube. And so down below, I'm gonna be linking to all of their channels from all of these generous moms on YouTube who are sharing slow cooker and Instapot recipes with you today. And since summer is coming up, I feel like it's a really great time to be sharing these kinds of recipes. I am using my mom's slow cooker. This is a gorgeous all clad that she bought and she stores it in her garage for me. I'm very committed to my heavy duty, heavy Dutch oven that I normally stick in my oven or use on the stove. But that heavy lifting when it's full of food, it's just really hard on your back. So if you don't want to turn on your oven this summer or if you just want to be lazy like I am and have something sitting on the counter doing the work for you, this is the way to go. Today I'm sharing with you two different dishes. I've already used this slow cooker to make stock and Maria, I think you're the one who requested this. I save scraps in my freezer and I save them up until I have several gallon bags of scraps, bones, vegetable trimmings, all the usual things that you'd put in your soup stock. This slow cooker is a great way to boil down your meat and veggies and trimmings and do homemade stock. So that's idea number one in this video. Secondly, I am making Rick Bayless's short ribs recipe today. Here they are, and this is a fabulous recipe. My family loves this recipe year round. I know you're thinking that this doesn't sound so summery. You're right, short ribs with mushrooms and beans are amazing for the fall, right? And I steam rice in my rice cooker and it's great. But pair this with a salad or some coleslaw and you're gonna have a no oven turned on delicious meal for your family. And if you're busy like I am, this is a great one to have in your rotation. What I do is I buy my short ribs when they go on sale, I stick them in the freezer and then I wait until mushrooms go on sale and then I thaw my meat and I make this recipe. I have heated some oil. I will link the full recipe down in the description box, but these are eight chilies de arbol. They're dried chili that you can buy like this at your Latin market. And we're just gonna flavor the oil with these chilies de arbol. I have removed the seeds, so it's just that toasty dried chili that's gonna flavor this oil just for a few seconds until they turn black, and then I'm gonna remove them. Yes. The doctor doesn't have more baby door, baby door, some his dog fed. Okay, so give her these other pieces. The dog is going to be very happy. As you can tell, we have a puppy in the house. It's crazy here. Okay, so the chili star bowl are starting to get much darker. This only takes a few seconds, and I'm just gonna pull them out, grabbing them and draining them, and these little guys can go back into my pot shortly. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna salt and brown our short ribs. So they're here. This recipe calls for four pounds. I do everything in this recipe by feel and so far no one no one has complained so far these are the gorgeous short ribs we're just going to throw them in the pan and brown them on all sides and then remove them and do my veggies we may have to do these in batches so let me get these browned up oh, I, I think i can get it in we're just going to do this we've got to get to carpool Hey guys, I'm back and sorry for a technical glitch that prevented me from filming the middle part of this video, but I'm gonna insert some footage to show you how easy it is following the searing of your meat to just layer in your vegetables, do a little bit of uh, browning of those, and then lay everything back into the slow cooker to cook. We have been simmering on high for just over two hours. Things are really getting going in there. I went to the maximum fill line in terms of my liquid, so I actually removed some of the liquid to make sure that we didn't bubble over, and I've reserved it off to the side just in case I wanna add more in later. These short ribs are so delicious. I have my rice cooker going, it just dinged. I know it's summertime, but this dish is so nourishing. It has the protein of your meat, it falls apart, so be Babies love it. It has all of the complexity of mushrooms, those roasted chilies, 
beer is poured over everything. It's just so delicious. And if you wanna lighten it up, you might add in just some fresh fruit, like this melon that I have at the ready, or some coleslaw or a salad or other seasonal summer produce. In addition to making a dish like this, I just wanna remind you that your slow cooker is your friend and it can speed up or make hands off all kinds of things that you would otherwise turn on the stove or turn on the oven for. So whether it's beans, for bean soup or bean salad in the summertime, lentil soup like you know I love to make and I'll link my lentil soup recipe down below, chickpeas that you can cook from dry to make hummus or even cooking tomatoes like you might have in the summer. This is a great way to not heat the house up but to make a tomato sauce for preserving your summer's bounty. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm gonna link all of those other mom's recipes for slow cooker and Instapot kosher friendly recipes that I know you're gonna enjoy. Give this a like if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I look forward to seeing you back here on my channel. Take care. Mm -hmm.